Hello, so we're going to continue on with the envelopes, and now I have a better microphone set up, so we'll see how this goes. Uh, so we'll just start with an initialized patch, so I'm going to push manual and right to set it to just one oscillator. We'll have two oscillators just for fun. We're going to talk about envelopes. Uh, so one is hardwired to amplitude, one's hard hardwired to the filter. So start with the amplitude one. Uh, if you've never had a tutorial on this before, this will be very beneficial to you. Uh, so basically, um, when I say amplitude, I mean volume. So this is like volume over time. <clears throat> Attack is how long it takes a note to reach its peak volume, like the loudest it gets. Decay, uh, sustain is, you know, the volume it stays at once it's reached that peak volume. Uh, decay is the amount of time it goes from, you know, the loudest it'll hit down to the sustain. So, you know, this does absolutely nothing if you have sustain all the way up. Um, and then release is how long it takes the note to fade out once you release a key. Um, also, this has an amount slider, so we can change, you know, how much it's actually affecting things. You know, we can have it basically do nothing, <laughs> you know, turn off the volume entirely. So it's kind of this weird balance between the volume knob in the top left and the amount knob down here. You can turn it way up, the volume, and have a pretty unresponsive uh, amplitude envelope here. Um, but that's not what we're going to do. We're going to take a look. Um, and let's just turn that knob all the way up. And then we'll experiment a little bit with the attack. So this is amount of time. So if obviously it's turned all the way to the left. We get a quick attack. If it's to the right, we get very slow attacks. And I'm pushing a key. And I'm holding the key. And it's coming, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Okay. So, we can have a reasonable attack. So I push the key, it fades in. If we have the sustain uh, about halfway, we can get an idea of the decay. So here's quick, de quick decay. And you hear it going, you know, up and then dropping down immediately. We can have a longer decay. And you hear it kind of fades down. I'm still holding the key down. This is differentiated from the release where, you know, if I have the release up higher, I let go of the key and it fades out. If we turn the sustain up, it'll be a little more obvious. I let go of the key and we're fading out. Okay, nice thing on this synth is that if you turn on the velocity sensitivity, it does respond, it's a little bit faster on the response. If you push a key harder. Oh, let me turn release down. Um, so we're basically controlling the amount of sustain volume here with our velocity of our finger. So that's nice, you get some musical stuff happening with your plane that way. Okay, now, same deal is hardwired to the envelope. Um, and I can choose the amount, and I can invert the amount. Uh, so let's give you an idea of what that means. Um, <clears throat> if we turn the filter frequency down, I'm going to set it to low pass. Okay, so there's a nice interaction between the frequency knob here and the amount of envelope here. I play with this a lot as I'm designing sounds because, you know, if you have the frequency way down, you can see we can kind of control how much is happening here. Um, we can do very subtle things too. If we have the frequency more at like middle, Okay, so there's like subtle filtering, right? We can give it... So that's what's happening, you know, attack is how fast the filter opens, decay is, you know, sustain is how 
it stays open. So is it going to go all the way open? Is it going to stay there? Is it going to decay back to halfway? And releases the same just type of idea where the filter can sort of slowly close. Okay, and same thing, we can link this to velocity. Let's see if I can get a little more obvious here. And there we go, if we play soft. Soft versus loud playing. Um, and then, you know, here's, let's talk about some practical considerations here. Um, more musical stuff. Brass sounds tend to have these softer attacks. And sort of quicker decays. We find a good... So something to think about, you know, you can imitate the sounds of instruments, string sounds, a little bit of a slower attack, and tend to be a higher sustain level. Okay. So we're going to move on next to the um, modulation. We'll do LFO, we'll do cross-modulation, we'll do uh, some other stuff, and then we'll talk about the effects. Hope that helps.